Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to vlog number two. Uh, today I am with my friends Joe and Ida. What's up? We are in Kindla Nature Reserve. It's been snowing, it's very beautiful outside. We found this little cabin that we're gonna spend the night in. It's uh, minus one Celsius, it's 20 minutes past three. We're prepping a fire and as usual, we're gonna make some nice food and just have a good time outside. Hey guys, uh, I'm just prepping the fire for tonight. We got here what, about 12 o'clock and the, as you can see, the daylight is going. So I'm just processing some, some wood down. There was some wood in the cabin that we're going to use and then there wasn't enough for the night. We're expecting minus three, minus four. And we still have food to cook and everything. So kind of the tip to when you're out and about is when you think you have enough wood, you don't. Go get more. So then what I'm doing is just using this trash bag to keep as much of the snow off my wood as I can. And then I'm putting small stuff, medium stuff, big stuff. And it's also a good way to keep warm too, just during the day. They say a fire heats you twice, you know, once when you make it and then once when it's, it's lit. So um, that's just what I'm doing now at the moment. Getting, getting this done. Hopefully we'll have some nice dinner tonight. Looking forward to dinner? Cool, yes. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, my man. Grab yourself a piece with a, a nice straight edge on it, like something like this. Try this bad boy. Oh, he's all gnarly too. Because you can shave it off. So the first thing that I would do is is prepare my stick because they're not always uh, they're not always level. 
So I'd, I'd just, I'd make it level, see where you can carve a, a little facet into it there. I would go about it, and especially, this is a great technique when you get it down, because if you're in the snow, you know, you don't want to be, but you can be, but I'd prefer to be up out of the snow and, and saving my, my trousers. So between kind of over the top of my knee, place, if you're right-handed, you walk off your right knee. Hi. So there you go, yeah, exactly like that. And that way the knife is outside anywhere that you're going to do any damage. I like to use this part personally of the knife. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just place it here and then I keep my wrist locked and then I just find the angle. And... So nothing's moving except the stick. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't it a handy one? And then you, as you can, you can get faster and as you get more comfortable with your knife, you can get those bigger curls. But it's just the fastest way I've found to, to do it and works in all environments. There's some gorgeous curls. So the, curls get the girls. Yes, they do. That's a badass feather stick. <laughs> Nicely done, man. That'd take a ferro rod. We just woke up, it's day three, and today we're heading back home to civilization. Had no phone reception for three days now, which was actually really nice. It's so quiet and calm outside. Just nature and snow, good friends, good food, good talks. It's a perfect weekend actually. <laughs>